Club. If you're getting ready to travel for the 4th of July or later this summer, we want to be get you aware of SRP, who says that this is the prime season for scammers. 12 News journalist Trisha Hendricks explaining tonight what you should be on the lookout for and how you can avoid becoming a victim. During the hot summer months when we're taking vacation to escape the heat or on long holiday weekends, SRP says that's when scammers prey on Arizona utility customers. In the middle of excessive heat warnings, scammers threaten to shut off your power bill if you don't pay a fake bill. Unfortunately, it's a situation we've heard about before. It's not about the money. It's about, you know, just the violation and how somebody could do this. Tracy Clifford got one of those calls around this time last summer. He said that they were going to be sending a technician out within an hour to turn off my power unless I paid them immediately. The person claiming to be from SRP told her if she didn't pay nearly $400 using a banking app, her power would be shut off within an hour. So Tracy made the payment. They do prey on people's fear. And now she wants others to be aware so they don't make the same mistake. SRP is always here to help. I spoke with Jackie Castrillon, who's been with SRP for 20 years. We don't do that. Um, you know, we're not threatening. During a 48-hour period last summer, SRP tells us they got more than 150 reports from customers about similar calls. Some getting duped out of lots of money. Some in the thousands. If you do wind up getting targeted, here's what Jackie says you should do. You can always hang up, give us a call and then we can, you know, go through the account with you. And what you shouldn't do. Sometimes people figure, you know what, I have a busy weekend coming up. I'm just going to pay it and I'll deal with it later. Definitely not. Bottom line, the best thing you can do is call SRP and they'll clear it up for you. In Phoenix, Trisha Hendricks, 12 News. Trisha, thank you. A few things to keep in mind. SRP officials say they'll never ask anyone for an immediate payment. Customers who are at risk of losing their service will always receive one or more notices by mail or even email. Also, SRP does not take payments through Zelle, MoneyPack, Cash App, or Bitcoin. So if someone does call you asking for payments through one of those methods, that should be an automatic red flag.